Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Let's make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? 500 likes will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and that 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing all right now let's get straight into this video so today we're going to talk about the floor spacing slasher but we're going to be using it out of the shooting and playmaking pie chart again we are still on this whole wave of trying to find better alternatives to the playmaking shot creator you know i did drop a video a couple days ago about three rare builds that you can do from the same shooting and playmaking pie chart that can get you different names but play just like a play shot there's no difference here. You will still be able to play just like a play shot, but have a ridiculous floor spacing slasher name. It is completely deceptive. It does not get contact dunks. None of that. It's basically a play shot. All right, so you want to go with the pure speed pie chart as usual. We're going to try to mimic the play shot build. Like I said, you want to go ahead and max out the top three, and then you want to go over to 31, and that will give you two, okay? Then you want to go 84, on your mid-range shot, you wanna max out your three-point shot, your free throw, and then go 65 on your, your post fade to get you 22. Then you wanna go 79 on your pass accuracy, max out that ball handle, and then go 58 on your post moves to get you right at 19. Then you wanna max out your perimeter, your ladder quickness, your steals, and then the remaining on your defensive rebound for six. Now, we'll say this, if you want to have I think an additional playmaking badge, then what I will say is just take away, don't worry about the, the finishing here, okay? If you get my gist of things, like you don't have to worry about that little standing dunk, right? Um, actually, no, it doesn't worry. It doesn't even matter anyway. So you only get 19, all right? So don't worry about it. So it's just, you get two, all right? So this is what you will have to work with. Um, you had 22 shooting, that's good enough, right? Um, and then of course, what you wanna do here, body type, you either wanna go burly or built. I'm gonna go burly because you are gonna be lowering your weight all the way down. Go 6'2", go ahead and get your weight all the way down to 165, and as you can tell, you look normal now, you don't look crazy. Then you wanna get your wingspan and move it out to 83 inches, okay? So what you're gonna look at, and again, like I said, some really, really cool things here. You will get a 99 speed with this build. 99 speed with this build, a 98 acceleration, all right? Remember, you do get a plus eight to the physicals, that's what I'm talking about. You get a you get four for getting um 99, um, overall on your my player then you get the additional four by doing well in the gatorade facility or getting gym rat all right so you can do either or that gets your eight all right and then if you look at your finishing like i said this is a floor spacing slash here but you look at your finishing there's nothing special here 89 close shot 84 driving layup and a 70 driving dunk right there's nothing special there okay but the fact is is that it's just like i said this is a play shot so really it's the shooting that's really going to be important you have an 84 mid-range and an 87 three ball. We all know you got to have an 85 or higher on your um, your three ball to get the automatic green release. So basically, you only need an 85, right? 85, no matter where you're at on the floor, when you shoot in time correctly, you're greening. So that is the key point here. You need an 85, you have 87. So that means you're going to be able to shoot anywhere on the court, from half court, no matter, just like any normal play shot and green with no issues because you're over you have the pure green window okay so keep that in mind that's what really makes this build dangerous because you can green anytime you release it perfectly right you have the pure green window with this shot um 83 pass accuracy a ridiculous 91 ball handle with 99 speed so you can see how this is just a play shot right 80 perimeter defense 80 lateral quickness a whopping 87 steal and then a 71 defensive rebound this is a really solid build um, it's a very comp build also because it does have a little bit better defense than, than your normal play shot, all right? And then, of course, when you come to your takeovers, 
You have you even have slash and takeover. But the thing is, is this: you still want to go with spot up shooter. This is the most lethal spot. This is the most lethal badge to have on a build in a game where shooting is hard, right? So you want to make sure that you can hit every single time. So that means you go from an 87 to a 97 three ball when you have this takeover, okay? Um, the next best one to me would be shot creator. You do get a plus five on your three ball and a plus 10 on your mid range where this will give you a plus 10 on both, but this will also give you like, you know, um, a plus 10 on your speed. Um, I think it's a, some plus fives on your, your, your on finishing. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it's better for athleticism, but this is going to be the best bet. All right. And here you have it. My nephews and nieces, you have the floor spacing slasher out of the shooting and playmaking pie chart, all right? So now what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna test this build out real quick, get 99 and then we'll get you out of here, right? So let's go here, let's max this out here. Um, with two badges, there's not really much you could do here. Um, contact finisher would probably be the best bet, improves the ability to convert contact layups and dunks in traffic. This is the best finishing badge. If you haven't seen my finishing badge, tutorial the best badges for finishing you should definitely check that video out um it's very informative but um contact finisher is the best badge to have okay even if you're not even a, a dunker it still helps with the contact layups okay um from the shooting standpoint of course you want to go hot zone hunter you want to go range extender you want to go green machine you want to go dead eye um i guess you could go difficult shots if you wanted to um tireless shooter is definitely something that i would um definitely want to get into i guess what the big thing is if you're not going to be doing if you're playing competitively and you're not really doing fadeaways with twos you're trying to get threes i mean i guess you could just go ahead and hit tireless shooter max that out and then get volume shooter i think this is more of a comp type um bad stack right here um you can't go wrong with it but i think this would be the best bet for it um or if you take away volume shooter, it's always good maybe to get some catch and shoot. That's another way because, you know, a lot of um, guards have a hard time. They have an easy time shooting it off the dribble, but then from the catch and shoot, they have a hard time for that. So you can do that too, but um, it's really your call on that. All right. And then from the playmaking, you are limited, but you do want to go quick first step, Hall of Fame, and handles for days. All right. These are the most important. You do want to get bail out at least. You also want to get unpluckable, at least on gold. Um, and then I guess we can go okay well this is the thing all right it, space creator and anchor breaker are all good they're good to have for animations but from a competitive standpoint there's really no advantage because you are going to be doing a lot of picks pick and roll you're not isoing all right so you don't necessarily need that that's just something to keep in mind you are using picks so you don't need the iso and then it's also good to help out your teammate with a dimer or a floor general um, it just depends on your teammate that you have, but uh, this is gonna be a good little stack right here. And defensively, of course, we just want to go clamps and then intimidator. Why not? Um, if you're going, and if you're a corner sitter, I say maybe um, take away the intimidator, go interceptor. You can do like that. But there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the floor spacing slasher out of the Hall of Fame playmaking and the Hall of Fame shooting badges. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he cop for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop out the top of no transform him. And we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a breed like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go have a